So I'm feeling rather privileged because I'm the first person in the UK to get my hands on the brand new Karcher Puzzy. Now this is your typical carpet extractor, however there is one major difference that separates this from all the other machines. Stick around to find out. This is the brand new carpet extractor for 2022. And this one's pretty unique because it's the first commercial cleaner in the world to be fully battery powered. Its new battery technology allows the car cleaner to have much more mobility and clean wherever needed. And being a commercial model, this is highly robust enough to tackle everyday life in constant use. So let's start off by taking a look at this beast. Now this is the 9-1 model, so it's going to sit in between the 8-1, which is the baby electrical one, and the 10-1, which is also the larger one. Now both of those machines have electrical cables, so you can plug them into the wall and they work. However, this one, on the other hand, is completely different. This one doesn't have any wires at all. And I think the world's starting to evolve a little bit now. So we had the electric cars, which were powered by millions of these underneath your feet. And it started off where people were thinking, oh, we're not going to take it seriously. But now everybody's jumping on the electric car bandwagon. And that's what's been happening with electrical equipment for the Valitas. So what you're going to find is Karcher now do a whole range of commercial equipment, which is powered by these batteries. And these will fit on your pressure washer and your dry vacuum as well. So they're going to be universal. So if you are going to start looking down the route of going battery powered, and I will get through to some good points in a minute, then you can stock up on these and you're always going to have them at your disposal. And it's amazing how much easier it makes your life just to pick something up and walk around the car without having to worry about untangling all the wires, because it is a problem that a lot of people will deal with when they're mobile valeters with too much equipment. So you can have a load of these on charge ready to go for the day ahead. But I will warn you because later on we are gonna be talking about some of the drawbacks which might make your eyes water. This battery will give you around half an hour's performance. So it's not the longest. So this is where you need to work smart. So people probably will question the 35 minutes running time for the carpet extractor with this battery in. But I have to argue this case, when you're cleaning the seats, you don't just solely break out the extractor. You start off by giving it a vacuum, then you squirt it with chemicals, then you get the drill brush out, then you might get other brushes out before you even get to that stage of doing the wet extraction. So if you use the tool properly and you use it for those times only when you need it and nothing else, I think 35 minutes is plenty good enough. And I did the Ford S-Max, my monkey one the other day, and we did all seven seats. It wasn't even that much of a problem. I still had a couple of minutes left. And that's because I went through the proper process of brushing everything first, getting these seats prepped, ready for the extraction. In terms of how loud this thing is, it's fairly quiet at 70 decibels and it won't blast your eardrums out. And there is plenty of power to suck up the dirt too. And let's not forget, it's not just the car you can use this on. It's also a pretty decent tool when it comes to cleaning sofas, carpets and rugs. But one scenario where it came into its own was on the stairs because it can always be a danger when you've got wires. And the more I used the Puzzy, the more I loved it. The suction hose is about two and a half metres and that's pretty good going considering you really don't notice any lack of power and you get nine liters for fresh water and seven liters for dirty water so if you used it on the house then you may have to top up a fair few times but weighing only seven kilograms without the water it's not exactly what you would call heavy but there are some huge factors that will raise a few eyebrows and the biggest question is how much would one of these mega carpet cleaning machines cost so here we go the price of the machine will cost around 840 pounds on average and you may think that's okay, that's not too bad. If I'm guessing the battery comes with it, well, it doesn't. In fact, the battery is going to cost you £180 extra, and it doesn't stop there either. The charger will set you back £120, giving you a grand total of £1,140. Whereas the current Puzzy 8 one, which is very similar but with a plug, will cost you £450 on average. So it's a whopping £690 cheaper and it does the same job. Minus the freedom of the wires, so the biggest question you may ask yourself is, do I really need to go for the full battery powered one yet? 
So until this technology becomes more common, the prices will probably stay high and you need to charge the batteries up. So you're probably gonna need to get yourself a generator supply unless you have say 10 batteries that have got a full charge for the day ahead. But that's gonna cost you 1800 pounds just for those 10 batteries. So the smart money would be with the 81 Puzzy, but if you're on a tighter budget, then something like the George Wetvac will be the best option. And also, if you wanna carry on saving money, then please don't forget to go check out my previous video here, where we look at the car dryer alternatives. And believe me, this video is gonna save you over a hundred pounds on average. Don't forget to watch it, it's a brilliant video, and I think you're gonna be really impressed with what we found. I'll see you later, bye-bye.